In a previous video, we talked about how to use right triangle trigonometry to solve for a missing side or a missing angle. And we did sides before, but it's not really not that much different if you do angles. Uh, and you can see this problem is asking for the angle theta. Okay, that's right here in the right triangle. And what it gives us is two of the sides, 6.44 and 7.79, right over there. And what I want you to do, whenever you're looking at a triangle, think about what's opposite, what's adjacent, what's hypotenuse, okay? With this angle theta, here's our opposite, opposite side over there, here's our adjacent side. So now, can you figure out which trig function relates opposite and adjacent to the angle theta? Okay, hopefully you came up with tangent. That's based on Sokotoa. Remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so now we're going to plug in the numbers that we know. I don't know tangent of theta. I don't even know what theta is. So let's move on to opposite. That's 6.44. And adjacent is 7.79. Okay, so now we have a trig equation. It's really not a complicated one, but I don't want you to go ahead and do the 6.44 over 7.79 yet. Okay, what I want you to do is consider doing something to both sides that will get rid of the tangent. Okay, I just want theta by itself. I want to know what the angle is. Now, some people come up with this idea. They'll say, okay, well, I need to get rid of tangent, so I'm going to divide both sides by tangent. Okay, that's, that's not what we're talking about. Remember, when I say tangent of an angle, I'm not talking about tangent times an angle. I'm talking about a function. And the only way you can undo a function is to take the inverse of it, like this. Okay, so we're going to have the inverse tangent of tangent of theta. That's going to be on the left. And then on the right side, you get the inverse tangent of, and we put the right side of our former equation in here, 6.44 divided by 7.79. So look what pops out. Those tangents are going to cancel out. The inverse tangent of tangent, right? Those cross out, and we get this as our final equation. Theta equals the inverse tangent of 6.44 over 7.79, okay? Now you plug it into your computer, your calculator, and the inverse tangent button, I want you to look at tangent, right, this button over here, and see where it says above it in blue ink, inverse tangent. So you're going to need to hit the second button and then hit tangent. So you say inverse tangent of that fraction, and you type it in like I have right here, okay, in, in that example. And you can see what pops out is 39.5. Eight zero, uh, you know, dot, 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 all these decimals. So what that is, that is in degrees, because I set my calculator in degrees at the start of this problem, right? I've been working in degrees this whole time because I know the answer is supposed to be in degrees. And we have to figure out just how to round this. Now, if you look back at your problem, what did it say? Um, oh, okay, it looks like I, I cut off the part that says how much we should round it to. But it, these things usually say round to, to two decimals. So if I'm rounding my answer to two decimals, it's just going to go like this. Okay, so we put in 39.58, and you don't worry about the degree symbol either. So just say 39.58, and you got this one done. Now you'll notice there's a lot be similar between finding sides and finding angles, right? The only difference is do you do an inverse tangent or a regular tangent. So that's, that's kind of it. If you're finding angles, you're going to do inverse trig. If you're finding sides, you're just going to do regular trig buttons, like sine, cosine, tangent.